Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about grouping and organizing widgets in the master window and we're going to make use of frame class and pack geometry manager. A frame in itself will work like a container. A frame is a rectangular region that would be used to arrange positions of other widgets. So basically it is used to organize a group of widgets. So let me start writing the program for it. So I'll import Tinkter or I'll write from Tinkter import star. Okay, so I do not need to import every single module separately in Tinkter. I'll just write the class name. I do not need to mention Tinkter dot button or something like that. Then I'll take the screen. I'll write win equals TK in brackets. Here I didn't need to write Tinkter dot TK because I've already imported it. Then I'll give in the title. I'll write win dot title. Let the title be frames. So the third step was adding widgets. Now I will be adding widgets. So frames are also widgets that helps in organizing other widgets. I would take the button widget only since we talked about that in the last video. So to organize my buttons, I would use the frame class. Now I'll write frame equals frame and in brackets win. Because I want this frame on the window. So you can see that we can give in a lot of arguments for frame. So you can give in PG. This was for the normal background color of the frame. Then you can give in BD. That is the border size. And you can give in the cursor. So the mouse cursor will change to this pattern, specified pattern, when you hover over the frame. And then you can mention the size. You can tell the height and width. Then you have relief here, which was also there in buttons. So it's the same here. You can specify the kind of border you want for the frame. Here I won't be specifying anything because I would be getting some widgets over it. So it's no use. It won't be displayed. So with the frame class, I have made a rectangular area. And then I'll pack it to the left side of the screen. So I'll write frame.pack side equals left. We discussed this in the last video while we were discussing pack a little bit. We talked about side, fill and expand. I hope you remember. So I'll be writing side equals left in the argument for pack. Okay. I will take up another frame so that you can understand what frames actually do. The grouping would be clear. So I'll write frame2 equals frame win because I want this frame on the window and then I'll pack this to the right side. Okay, so I'll write side equals right. Fine. Then I'll get my buttons. I'll write b1 equals button. Now, last time when we declared the buttons, you might remember that we used window as the master argument. But right now, since I want my button on this frame, I'll write the frame variable. Okay, so I'll write frame, comma, text equals button one. Let the background be pink and foreground be white. Fine. Then I'll pack this button. I'll write b1.pack. Similarly, I'll declare button 2. I'll write b2 equals button frame, comma text equals button 2, and background color sky blue and foreground white. And then I'll pack it. Write b2.pack. Then I'll have two more buttons, B3 and B4. I'll get them on the second frame that I declared. You might notice that I have not given any commands for the buttons. So let's not focus on that because right now our main focus is understanding frames. So let me get my button 3 and button 4. I'll write B3 equals button. Frame 2. Text equals button 3. 
background purple and foreground white okay then i'll pack it let me get the button four button frame two text equals button four background let it be light green and foreground let it be white then i'll pack it i'll write p4 dot pack then i'll call the main loop this main loop would be called for the master window only the parent window so i'll write win dot main loop so let's run this and see if we get the buttons on the left and right sides according to the frames So I can see the buttons, the four buttons that I declared and they are on sides. Button 1 and 2 is on the left side and button 3 and 4 are on the right side because I have packed the frame 1 on the left side and frame 2 was packed on the right side. As we have not given any command to the buttons, nothing is happening when we are clicking them. You can think about how differently you can pack these buttons just like we have packed the frames. You can use the side or expand or fill arguments. And that's what we'd be talking about in the next video. We'd be discussing geometry managers. Thank you.